Hi guys, my name's Brittany Cox, and I'm the voice of Ingrid in Fire Emblem Three Houses, and the voice of Nancy Drew in Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. And I'm here with Anime Impulse. What led me to voice acting? Well, so I came from a theatrical background, so I was doing all the theater and doing a bunch of shows and stuff. And then I started doing on camera work. And then my husband is actually a composer. And so he was working at a post-production audio house. And I walked in, like I was bringing him lunch or something. And they were like, hey, you're an actor. We need a chick to just do a line for this radio thing. Can you just hop in the booth? So I was like, sure. So I did and they were like, oh, you don't suck at this. Here's a check. <laughs> and so then I was like, oh, this is fun. So I started doing more of it and I was really bad at first and kept learning and working and now it's all I do. It was crazy because I had never thought of like acting being an actual career. I was like, oh, it's just something I really love doing. And then it just turned into one, which was fun. My kind of ritual before I get ready for any session is I kind of create like a playlist for that character and jam out to it in the car and like sing along. A, it's like a really good warm up for my voice and B, it's, you know, it just kind of gets me in the headspace before I even walk into the studio. So like for Ingrid, I was listening to a mix of Foo Fighters, uh, Paramore and Powerline if anybody knows who Powerline is from the amazing movie, A Goofy Movie. A Goofy Movie? A Goof Troop? No, Goof Troop's the show. A Goofy Movie, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, the fan art has been incredible. Like there are so many talented artists and creatives out there, I had no idea. And it has blown me away with how much love and care people put into their art, just because they're such a huge fan of the series. Like I know as a voice actor, that makes me feel so special and so good that what the work that I've done has helped inspire you guys to do all this incredible art. Like, I always get really excited about it. It's it's super cool. I, my mom was like, "You have fan art now. You should you should buy it." And I said, "Oh yeah, I'm I'm going to be buying a bunch." And she's like, "You should buy all of them." I was like, "Mom, you don't understand. There's like, th I would be broke. There's thousands. I wish I could." So. I, I know me and all the other voice actors, we love retweeting and resharing because we're like, people need to appreciate this art because it's so good. I, God, all the Ingrid Sylvain fan art just cracks me up. I low key wanted them to end up together at some point, but that's fine. So my best boy is a tie. It's a mix between Sylvain because in real life, my best friend was a Sylvain when we were growing up. So it just reminds me of him so much. Or Ash, because he's so sweet and just cute and just like, uh, like so sweet. I love him. I know, I just wanna like, just, just come here for a hug all the time. And I love Shannon in real life too, so it just makes it even better. High school Brittany would have wanted to be a part of the Black Eagles, but I don't think she would have been cool enough to get in, so she would have ended up on the Blue Lions and then realized actually the Blue Lions is where she is happy being, even though she'd be low-key upset for the first little bit. But then make her best friends, because all of her best friends would have been on the Blue Lions, because they're so great. I love musicals. I just got Hamilton tickets for next year. I'm dying inside, I'm so excited. Yes, I love musicals, all musicals. Les Mis is probably one of my faves. I've seen it like a million times because I'm super dramatic like that. Nice, that's like a common trait for like the Fire Emblem Three Houses voice actors that we talked to. Yeah, to like Les Mis? Musicals. 
Oh, I was like, they, they all love musicals. <laughs> all of them. They're great. I mean, it's well, because it's like musicals are so dramatic and just so fun, and you can really get into it, which I think is super fun. And we're all dramatic people, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I listen to a lot of metal, hard rock. That is that is my life, which is always so funny because people are like, you listen to metal? I'm like, yeah, I've been to Ozfest multiple times. That's a real thing. My first concert was Godsmack and Metallica. That was a good show. Crowd surfing, super fun. Oh my gosh, voicing Nancy Drew is still kind of unreal. I was always such a huge fan and it's just crazy to grow up with a character that you love and like feel like you know, and then suddenly you literally are that character. It's just, it's bizarre. I just started playing the game and I'm still like, what? Oh, that is, oh, that's me. Oh my God, that is me, jeez. <laughs> So I am a huge sucker for mystery docs and like crime thrillers and all those things. If you guys haven't seen The Jinx on HBO, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but holy shit, you need to watch that show because it's amazing. If I had another career, it would be as like an investigator or something doing that kind of stuff. Like trying to solve these cold cases and like these crazy serial killer psychos. I don't know. It just seems really fascinating to me and it's cool. I love escape rooms. They're so great. I get really intense about them. Like we have to solve all the puzzles. You go over there. I'm going to go over here and I'm not going to lie. I might have yelled at my husband a couple of times if he didn't solve a puzzle fast enough. I was like, get it together, man. Come on. We got to beat this clock. And I don't, I don't like getting hints. They frustrate me. If like the, per you know how like the person stands in the room and is like, check the wall. I'm like, dude, I would have figured it out. It's fine. Power tools that are most satisfying to work with. I would say I really like jigsaws actually, because it's great because you can kind of maneuver them and do whatever you want. It's kind of like a flexible piece of equipment. I don't like table saws because I don't like that they just sit there. Nail guns are fun as well. And no, I'm not a serial killer. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Back in the day when I was in college, I used to be the scenic charge artist um, for our theater department. And so I would help build all the sets and stuff. And this really cool piece we built was a, um, it was like metal wings, but they were like 10 feet tall. And it was just two metal wings that were just uh, kind of arches. And we had to buff the metal to give it this weird like sheen thing. It was really cool. I had never worked with metal before. And so learning to weld and do all that stuff was like super fun. And you know, you feel really powerful when you have that like helmet thing on and you're handling a blowtorch. Like that's just a cool feeling. Highly recommend with supervision though. Favorite sports, definitely soccer. I grew up playing soccer my whole life, which is why I have the knees of a 60 year old man. They don't tell you that when you sign up. I also really enjoyed playing rugby for half a minute. That was super fun until, you know, I learned that l losing teeth is a regular thing. And then I was like, this isn't for me anymore. Oh, I've never played lacrosse. I think that would be super fun or Quidditch. I'm all about Quidditch. I think we should start a Quidditch team with Fire Emblem people. I'm just throwing it out there. Guys, if you want to join me, let's do it. Burbank. Yeah. Blue Lions would definitely excel in any team sports, I think, because we're not lone players. I think as a house, we're very much a group dynamic, unlike other houses where they're kind of loners. No shade. Yeah, I think we'd be great at football or soccer, something like that. Um, Cause I think we could play up everybody's kind of strengths. You know, actually football would probably be really great because you could have the people um, who are kind of nervous being on offense. So they just run ahead. So they're not gonna get tackled as much, you know, like the Bernies or the Flames. The rest of us who are like, no, let's attack and punch everybody and destroy everything. Like moi, you know. We have those too. <laughs> Favorite type of coffee, any kind of coffee that's not decaf. But my general go-to's is like 
iced coffee or cold brew. Uh, black, straight up, no cream, no sugar. I actually like the taste of coffee. Vietnamese iced coffee is so good, but it's like candy to me, slash crack. So I have to limit my intake. Oh, okay. Low key for real, I love food. It's a problem, especially food that's not great for you. Uh, so for my people back in the Southeast, Bojangles is my jam. Oh my gosh, their Cajun filet chicken biscuit. If you haven't been to Bojangles, you need to go. I'm such a meat and potatoes kind of gal. Steak and potatoes, turkey and potatoes, chicken and potatoes, french fries, all those things. I'm pretty easy going when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, food, yeah, all food. I mean, I, I think the only food I don't really like are peas. I don't like peas. My dream job growing up, I wanted to be a singer. I was like super into Britney Spears and the Spice Girls. I always wanted to be Sporty Spice because she was the coolest. I'm not a great singer. I will be the first to tell you. That's why I like metal and hard rock because it don't really matter as much. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to be a singer growing up, which is interesting because I never really took singing classes or it was more like singing for myself. Maybe that's why I'm not a good singer. That's probably why. Well, my funniest reveal was when doing Ingrid and I met Sylvain in my supports for the first time. And Patrick, who was our director, was like, and now here's Fuckboy. And I was like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Very appropriate. Now, knowing Sylvain, I'm like, totally appropriate. Um, I think my most shocking reveal was when I was doing Nancy Drew, because they had me do the game in chronological order. So I didn't find out who the bad guy was. Like I had all the suspects, but I didn't know who the bad guy was until we found out who the bad guy was. And it was not who I expected. And I was shocked and had to take a minute because I was like, what? Ah! Ah! Freaking out. But it was super fun, made it super fun. What does voice acting mean to me? Voice acting has been such an amazing way for me to express myself and really work through things, both emotionally and creatively. Being in the booth is such a safe space and you're working with some amazing people on the other side of the glass and you know other people who are working on the game or the show or the series, whatever it is. And it's such a sense of community that you can try things, you can be weird, you can have a really intense emotional scene and just feel totally taken care of. I've, having done on camera and theater, I've never felt such a sense of creative freedom as I do behind a mic, which has been really cool. And I, it's been some of the best work I've ever done and I've been a part of some projects that I'm so proud of and I think people are really excited about and that's been really cool. It's It's been cool to be a part of this community for sure. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening to my interview. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Brittany C. Cox and send me all of your favorite Ingrid and Sylvain and Ash memes and fan art, all that stuff. I would love to share, talk to you about them, do all the things and Ask me some more Ingrid questions. I'm always down. I'll see you guys there. Bye.